Coach Elliott, welcome to Florida, man. What do you think of this place so far? I used to coach our cadet dual team for Team North Carolina, and we, we were in that venue right there, so we've been down here a few times, and always good to get a little refresher, so to speak, right before school starts. And nice to get get away down here and enjoy some um, some speakers and, and, and the beach. Now we get to see a little bit of wrestling here with, with the combine. So the Coaches Association, NWCA, brings in C3 here. You've obviously done Georgia C3 a couple times. I've interviewed you oh, three, three times. Three times, yeah. Three, yep. So we've, we've talked there every time, and it's a great model, obviously. Right. Now you guys are going to get to do some recruiting on top of all the mentorship, building your program, social media, marketing your program, all this stuff that you do here with the Coaches Convention. Now you get to add recruiting to it. What's that mean to you? It's just another opportunity to, to for us – to use our resources and kind of double dip, I guess that makes sense. And so, come down here and spend time with, with some older guys who've done a lot of things coaching wise and, and pick their brains and then get a walk downstairs to the ballroom and, and see guys competing and, and training and learning and see how guys train. And just a good way to, to, to sort of use your resources in, in both the avenues. How are you guys feeling about, you know, the season coming in? You know, you guys had some mixed results this past year. I thought you had a great dual season. You had right, some nice right. wins, and then you know the conference tournament, NCAs don't go your way. But how do you feel about moving into the season 2017, 2018? Well, we, we graduated 10 guys this year. And, uh, that's good. Congratulations, because that's really that's literally right. what yeah. it's all about. It's a good group. Right? Right, yeah. I mean, first two recruiting classes, me as head coach, I think all but maybe one of our scholarship guys actually graduated. And so. Um, not, no APR issues for Gardner Webb. Not right now. We've had them. When it first came out, you know, we, we, we had a hole we had to dig ourselves out of. But you dug yourself out. And we're we're going in the right direction. And but we're going to have maybe six or seven new new guys in the lineup this year. And there will be some talented guys that just haven't been in consistently. And so we're going to lean on some new guys in the lineup. And I think we've got a handful of individuals who do real well. And um, just got to keep in mind we're going in the right 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 direction and, and sort of. You know, I wish, you know, the T-shirt of, oh, we don't rebuild, we reload. You know, right now we, we are seven new guys maybe starting for us, and, and I'm sure we'll all take our lumps as athletes and coaches. And just by the end of the year, I think we'll be at a good spot, though, because they um, have a good schedule put together, and, and there's going to be some talented guys that are going to get better each time out. So. What are you looking for in that room behind me in the future Bulldog? You know, I think my favorite part about these combines is seeing how guys train. You know, and we're looking at talent can only, you know, everyone knows who's talented. You know, we got to find those guys that are gritty and are going to get tired and push through and, and, and get through adversity. And, and I like these type of events here because you, you teach them some, te some technique and then you beat on them for a little bit and you're going to make them run time miles and you bring back in and make them do more. And, and you see guys that are really going to push through all that. And, and those are the guys I think that we're going to have our best luck with at the next level. All right, man. About to start here. You got anything else for me? Oh, just good, good seeing the old Zed Meller's face, you know. I appreciate it. Thanks for the time, Coach. Thank you.